Hello everyone, Alpha Eagle here again. I hope you're all doing well and may God bless you all. As many of you know, I am a Christian and as all good Christians, I'm against child murder. It's sometimes called infanticide and the left like to call it abortion. For full disclosure, in my younger days, I once was accepting of the left's false narrative surrounding this issue. So long story short, I've changed my mind and have joined the side of good against evil. In this video, we will hear Nerdette's newsstand's view on this. Uh, she did a live stream asking for people to discuss disagreements. She's a big fan of the not-so-amazing Lucas, who has the same type of videos, so she clearly, quote, borrowed the idea from him. Uh, she talked to a person calling themselves Team Turd about child murder. Ironically, she had this stream on Mother's Day. Frankly, I think that timing is sick, uh, in my opinion, but it could have just been all coincidental. I'd like to say that I have nothing against Tristan or this Team Turd guy. In fact, I pray that Tristan changes her views. Also, this is edited from Tristan's stream. Uh, I'll put a link in the description so, so you can get the full context. Anyway, this is what happened. Hi, da, 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 Team Turd. Um, hi. Can you hear me? Yes. All right. Uh, how you doing tonight? I am fine. How are you? I'm pretty good. Just uh. Watching your show here. Notice that it started out friendly, but that will change quickly. This Collins uh, disagreement, but I haven't heard anybody disagreeing with you. Seems kind of odd. Got a disagreement? Well, I'm just kind of curious about that. How come you have disagreement in the title, but then everybody's coming in here and agreeing? Because I say disagreement only, and people call in anyways. Welcome to but, the internet. Sounds I like did have a little bit with the Comicscape bullshit. Sounds like you got a bit of an echo chamber over here is all I'm saying. Oh, you think so? I, I do think so. I totally okay. think so. Here Team Turd points out Tristan's echo chamber. I happen to agree that Tristan has an echo chamber. She denies this, but she blocks anyone who disagrees with her in the comments or the chat. To be fair, she very rarely has people on her stream who slightly disagree with her. But she never has guests on who are completely opposite of her politically. You might say, well, she's talking to this person. Yes, but he's not a guest talking to her for her whole entire stream. Hey, let's talk about some Roe v. Wade. You got it in the title. I uh, is there any kind of cutoff? Do you think there should be like a date, like eight months? Yeah, viability. Nine months. Well, what do you Nine, define eight, as viability? Of course, no! Viability, 24 viability? weeks. <laughs> she uses this very vague term of viability, but what is viability? The left claimed that it's when a child can survive outside the womb, but that is different for every child. Some babies are born premature, others are born after the nine-month date. HB makes a great point about this. He says that even after the child is born, they are still not viable. If you leave a newborn child alone in the woods to survive on its own, it will die. It needs its parents to live. It takes several years after the child is born before they become viable. So this whole when the child is viable argument is BS. By the way, HB is the hard bastard, and I highly recommend subscribing to him. Ironically, HB said that Tristan used to be a viewer of his. I wonder why she stopped watching him. 24 weeks. So how many months is that? You're talking like six really? months? Yeah. Six months. So up to six months well, it's for, like for any reason. 20 weeks is... You know, no restrictions. Yeah. Up to six months. Yeah. So it just can be a total slut who hits the bar scene all the time and gets knocked up and just goes you in realize just... that's not the majority of people that get well i know tristan claims that the majority of legal child murderers are not sluts who get knocked up and regret it first i'd like to see the statistics on that second even if they are in the minority it still happens these women are what i call life cheaters when they act irresponsible they don't want to face the consequences of their accent, actions, so they cheat at life and murder their own child. 
you you make plenty of minority of people arguments all the time so i feel no i don't i don't advocate for using it as birth control well but you do tristan by simply wanting child murder legal you are advocating for it to be used as birth control you admit that it happens the only way to prevent it from being used as birth control is by making it completely illegal across the board so you are advocating for it to be used as birth control tristan like unrestricted up to six months i'm blocked on your channel of course because disagreeing opinions aren't allowed in here at all oh does it matter you've got a block list that's probably 10 miles long so probably because i don't talk to idiots it's a waste of my time (laughs) i love that her excuse for not wanting a conversation is that she doesn't want to talk to idiots idiots is her name for people who disagree with her she has to keep up her echo chamber well what about this roe v wade unrestricted up till six months well what about the restrictions after six months so you're saying no restrictions up to six months what about after, after the six, six months, months mark? unless it's going to harm the mother then um then there shouldn't be a need for it there should be no reason why you don't know by 24 weeks if you need an abortion or not and if you do then that's a you problem. What's this need for child murder that she's talking about? There is no need for child murder. Even if the mother's life is in danger, she can choose to sacrifice her life for her child if she wants. There is never a need for child murder. Okay, so... uh, Coward's hide, that's right, Serenity. Up till six months. Well, cowards block people, too. They heavily censor as well. But, uh... That's this a whole is my subject, channel. Isn't it? This is my house. I hear that from black nationalists all the time, you know. This is my house, fool. Black right. nationalists. It's black and censor people. Black right. nationalists. Why are you talking to Hunter Avalone and black nationalists? How much fucking time do you have on your hand? Oh, you know, I like to watch the cringiest of cringe. Like, YouTube's a great place for cringe nowadays. Like, I nothing. Know. You're on my no, channel. Nothing, uh... <laughs> Did she just admit that her channel is cringe? I'd agree with that right of sticks hex and hammer is allowed on youtube anymore so <laughs> are you fucking kidding me I'm twitter is you. i mean youtube is YouTube. primarily conservative are you fucking kidding me are you kidding me tristan youtube is not conservative at all do you seriously think that mommy susan is a conservative if youtube is conservative why did they kick off alex jones why does youtube promote the young turks why does YouTube ban conservative topics like a certain person's laptop or a certain illness? If any conservative channel becomes popular, it's despite YouTube's conservative conservative censorship. The idea that YouTube is conservative is absurd. She's being very disingenuous. You are like what? so dumb. Like what? that she called him dumb for stating facts. I don't know how anyone can call YouTube conservative after they kick off Alex Jones and promote TYT. She calls anyone who disagrees with her dumb. Notice how loud she is getting. Whenever someone proves her wrong, she gets louder and more angry. Like what? I don't don't watch anything like Right of Six, Hex, and Hammer. Fox News isn't Right of Six, Hex, and Hammer. They're probably left of them, to be honest with you. Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay, sure. Then, uh, Yes, Fox News called the election for Biden before CNN. They are corporate news. Sticks would probably agree with this guy and say that they are left of him. I like watching Fox suffer because they deserve it. It's funny when, when, like sometimes when I post, shit post usually on Twitter, when I'm trolling liberals, they're like, oh, well, you're ignorant. You just watch Fox News all day. I do? That's funny. I thought that I reamed them repeatedly. I think I talk more smack about Fox News than the average leftist does. And not without good reason. They're the worst. Because they fool people who otherwise might be kind of aware of the, the dangers of leftism into this milk toast, very bland conservatism in name only. That's about all. Peace out. I'm on board with the whole this will disenfranchise people of color argument in regards to getting rid of rope. The majority uh, of people that have abortions are white women. I'm just asking. There are you. a good there are a good amount of black women also and yes it will affect them. But if you look at it, 
that it's mainly white women. Okay, Tristan claims that the majority of women who kill their babies are white women. That's actually very disingenuous and misleading. Since white women are the majority, then logically they would kill most babies. That's true. But per capita, black women do. Let's do the math again. White people, including white Hispanics, which are white people from the Europe, European country of Spain, so they do count as white, make up about 76% of the population. Women are about half that, so half of, of 76 is about 38. White women make up 39% of the total baby killers. So that's about to be expected considering that white people are the majority. Black people only make up about 13% of the population, and about half of them are women. So what's half of 13? About 6.5. Black women only make about 6.5% of the population, yet they commit 28% of the baby murders. So black women commit baby murder at a way higher rate than white women per capita. So Tristan is being very misleading and disingenuous. There is a good portion. So keep trying to get me a no, gotcha, you know, but you're you know, losing. Place, here you go, in New York. Did you go in New York City? More black babies are aborted every year than they are born. You're yeah, more than so? welcome to look What's that up point? and show it to your chat right now. If, what, um, what, is that, what does that mean? What does that matter? I'm just Clearly asking those you. People, I mean, do you believe that every person that gets pregnant man. is more, a good parent? More are aborted than born every cool. year in New York City. Cool. Okay, notice how Tristan completely ignores the facts being given. And also notice how angry she is getting. She is getting very loud. She is losing the argument, and it's making her mad. Also notice how quiet and calm this guy is. Their demeanor is like night and day. I think that says a lot about them. Tristan is reminding me of Anna Kasparian and her freak out about this same subject. Do you believe that's, that's, that you every person cool? that gets pregnant is going to be a cool? good parent? Well, no, I don't think hardly anybody's a good parent. But... Okay, this is where I disagree with this guy. He says that he thinks that there are hardly any good parents. I say that most parents are good parents, or at least they try their very best. That are you Christian? Mean I think everybody should abort their kids. Are you Christian? Are you an atheist? No. Are you Christian? You're, you're not an atheist. Yes, I am a Christian. No. So what okay, are you well, if you're not what's an atheist? your problem? They're going to have let me guess you're agnostic yes okay uh would you call yourself they're secular? going to heaven would you call yourself secular would you know. call yourself secular oh my god claims to be agnostic i always find it hilarious when non-christians tell christians who is going to heaven and who is not First, there are over 200 Christian denominations in the U.S. There are Catholics, Protestants, Baptists, Lutherans, Methodists, and so on. And they all have different beliefs and traditions. I believe that most Catholics think that since babies that are killed in the womb have not been baptized, that they can't go to heaven. So depending on your beliefs, m murdered unborn babies may not go to heaven. Second, ultimately, only God can decide who goes to heaven. Last time I checked, Tristan is not God. People can guess who may or may not go to heaven, but only God can make that judgment. Oh my God. No, no, no. Tristan, would you call really. yourself secular? No. Do so how are you on gun control? Gun control? In the um, mandates. You want to mandate the vaccines for everyone? Why would I want to mandate vaccines for anybody? Then don't tell women what to do with their body if you're not for mandates, you dumb fuck! No. Wow. Again, she got really angry while the other guy still remained calm. Notice that she used that old debunk argument of don't tell a woman what to do with her body. I love that the side that claims that they love the science can't seem to separate two distinct human beings. The baby and the mother do not share the same body. They are two different people. The mother's body is not the baby's body. The mother's body, not the mother's body. It's really that simple. So, uh, let me ask you, what does not taking a vaccine have to do with killing somebody else? 
It's the government telling you what else. to do. You directly are so dumb. Killing somebody else. You are so dumb. It's the government. It's not about babies is, is or mandates. Life, it's about the government telling you what occur. to do. Does a loss of life occur if you get and an a abortion. loss of life could occur from not getting the vaccine because That's a you could. hugged your grandma no, no, wrong? No. no, your answer was could. Now, does does a loss loss of life occur from abortion? Yes or no? No. No. So that's not a life, huh? He makes a good point about comparing the virus and killing babies. With the virus, there is less than 1% chance that someone could die from it. However, with killing babies, it's definite that there is 100% chance that someone will die. It, they are not comparable at all. The same with guns. It's possible that someone could get killed, but it's not definite. It's not comparable at all with baby killing. Again, the left makes the weakest arguments. Not if it's under six months old, it doesn't count as a life. It's, it's that's a, a life. morality is, argument, is it, is it and I have a legal. Is it a I, parasite? That's a mor Shut the fuck up. Is that's a, a morality. No, you keep talking over me now. Is it a parasite? Yes or no? That's a morality argument, and of course it's not a parasite, you dumb fuck. Notice how Tristan immediately changed her argument when she realized that she was losing. First, she claims that life does not exist until consciousness. By the way, that's a dumb argument, since plants are not conscious, yet they live. Anyway, she pivots and claims that there is, that it's a moral argument and that she was making a legal argument. Amazing mental gymnastics here by Tristan. She pivots, then moves the goalpost. Amazing. Notice that she told him to shut the F up. She's so angry that she's losing. Morality argument. The argument here is not about morality. It's about the government controlling you. Welcome to 1984. Now I will address this supposed government control. I'm very surprised that neither one of them brought up the fact that if SCOTUS overturns Roe versus Wade, the decision over baby killing goes back to the states. So the federal government is actually giving up its control. The federal government will have less control over baby killing. And since control will go back to the states as it should, therefore, in some states, baby killing will still be legal. By the way, except for baby, baby murder, uh, no other murder is legal. So nobody's rights are being taken away. So Tristan's whole argument about government control is complete BS. Now I will unmute you if you stop interrupting me. Because you're an authoritarian. We already know that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, how? Well, maybe it's honestly doesn't know how she is being an authoritarian. By muting him, she proves that she's an authoritarian. Tristan mutes people during her stream. As we just saw, she blocks many, many people, some several times, usually over nothing. She never has on anyone who completely disagrees with her as a full stream guest on her stream. Notice that I said completely disagrees with him, her and full stream guest. Her channel is an echo chamber. She runs her channel like a dictator. She's free to do that if she wish, wishes, but that does make her an authoritarian. She might not may not like the title, but it is apt. Well, maybe it's a different I'm not moment. an authoritarian. You are. You want to control women's bodies. I'm not women, the one hey, I'm uh, okay can, with can, that. Wow, more mental gymnastics from Tristan. She tried to turn his accurate author authoritarian claim back on him. We've already proven that overturning Roe versus Wade is actually less authoritarian. What about birthing people? Do you believe in birthing people? Do I believe like putting, that people give birth? Men... What the fuck are you no, asking no. me? Actually like, asking like men, me right like now? Like men need tampons in the uh, male's restroom, that kind of thing. You know, birthing people, right? You know, uh, we have. What? Justin proves her ignorance. Birthing people is the phrase that the left want to use instead of mother since they claim that men can give birth to babies. I can't tell if Tristan actually doesn't know this or that she is saying that she doesn't know it to try to make this guy look foolish. You have what? these far left wing uh, politicians nowadays. You realize I'm not far left wing. Birth, I'm, birthing people. I care about people. 
Oh, on your chest, far definitely left wing. far left wing. Oh my it. god, you got me so out. good. I bet that's well, the first chat. time I look heard that. Look at your that. chat. Oh, I know it's not the first time you've heard it, that's for sure. Oh yeah, by it's idiots like not. you. She claims to not be far left. <laughs> that's hilarious. She si sides with the left on every single political issue. She sides with the left on baby killing. She sides with the left against the parental rights in education or anti-grooming bill. She calls non-binary people they, them. She is pro-woke entertainment, and she is pro-gay indoctrination in children's entertainment. She fell for the whole they are banning mouse in schools lie. They only removed it from their school's curriculum, but that could just be because she is just ignorant. And the video is still up on her channel even when one of her fans proved that she was wrong about that. She didn't condemn the everything is going to be all white documentary. As long as I've been watching her, she has never took the right side on any political issue. You can't blame people for thinking you are far left when you only side with the left on political issues, Tristan. Like, all your, all your videos you are like high defending... School? Notice that she attacks him on his education. She did the same thing to me. A person's education doesn't really matter that much. There's a huge difference between education and intelligence. A person can be very educated and still lack intelligence. Education is all about giving the answer that the system wants you to give instead of the actual right answer. As we have seen in the last few years on places like Twitter and TikTok, people can be highly educated and still be very dumb. Schools are only indoctrination factories anyway, as we can see from the college students these days. By the way, Tristan, if you're listening, or if anyone else cares, I am educated, I have a college degree, not that it matters anyway. Oh, yeah. No, actually, I only went to the fourth grade, as a matter of fact. That doesn't you tell? surprise me. I know, right? I know. You can tell, huh? Why do I think this is the Patriot? No, I would what, what? This guy claims that he only went to the fourth grade. He's clearly joking. And I don't know if Tristan might be on the autism spectrum, but she seems to not know that he is joking. Why, why are so many of your videos more... like defending homosexuality in comic books and movies? Because like, homosexuality like exists. Content. Like, okay, so you're not an oh SJW. Oh my God, she doesn't hate gay people. She must be a Your entire channel is basically. So Tristan's excuse for putting homosexual indoctrination and propaganda into children's entertainment is that homosexuality exists. Amazing. That's such a dumb argument. Suicide exists. So should we put that in children's entertainment, Tristan? Rape exists. So should we put that in children's entertainment, Tristan? Incest exists. Should we put that in children's entertainment, Tristan? I have never seen such a dumb, dumb argument, Tristan. Let me know in the chat. Yeet or keep going? It's an echo chamber, so does it really even matter it's what you It's an echo asking? chamber? Of course How's it so? is. Well, uh, for starters, I would say most of the guys in here, they probably just donate money to you. Like they're they're like uh what's referred to no, as pay don't. piggies. Oh, uh, this uh All this right. Robert guy is holy. F she asks her chat if she should yeet this guy or keep going. She doesn't make a poll. She doesn't wait for a significant number of people to answer. She goes with the first person to say yeet, and that first person to say yeet is Robert Willing, and he happens to be what this guy Team Turd called paid pigs, whatever that is. The, that's the first time I heard that word. But I do know Robert, Robert Willing, and he does defend her all the time. I never heard him disagree with Tristan. Fuck. I've never talked to anybody so goddamn stupid in my life. Tell your sister I hope your guys' baby is okay. She calls this guy stupid. Why, Tristan? Simply because he disagrees with you? He had a lot of facts on his side. He was very calm. Tristan seemed very loud and emotional, and she ends with accusing him of incest. Very classy, Tristan. Very classy. I notice that she does this with, this with a lot of people who disagrees with her. She gets very angry 
and that when she's losing the argument, then she attacks people with a very childish ad hominem. She has done with this with Young Ripa, Patriot Hut, and many others. For a long time, I've wanted a live discussion with Tristan. She seemed reasonable and like a person who might change their mind on some issues, but now I think I've changed my mind. She is very angry and aggressive and not very ladylike, whereas I'm too nice. I'm calm, polite, and soft-spoken. Honestly, she would probably destroy me, but that's only because I'm too nice, quiet, and I don't cheat. And it would probably just end with her being loud and hurling childish insults like she did here. And I would probably be laughing the whole time at her dumb arguments. Also, I find it funny when she gets mad, so I would laugh at that too. So it would be a huge mess. So there you have it. Tristan supports what I call baby killing. She doesn't understand that the federal government will have less control over baby killing if Roe v. Wade was overturned, and she gets very loud, angry, and spews childish insults when someone simply disagrees with her about killing babies. Meanwhile, her opponent was very calm, and I don't think he insulted her at all. Again, I have nothing against Tristan. I just pray that she changes her views. Anyway, I'm Alpha Eagle. May God bless you all for watching, and may God bless America.